Welcome to this video. This video is about behavior subjects in RxJS. I already do have a video about normal subjects and the starting code here, to which you can find a link in the video description, I am using a normal subject as you can see here. Now, in this setup, we have a button, click me, and when we click the button, we actually have this event listener, which will emit a new value through our subject to which we subscribe here at the very bottom. Therefore, we print clicked, since that is what we do in our subscription. Nothing spectacular, we're using a subject. There is one limitation a normal subject has though. It doesn't have an initial value or a starting value. If we reload this project by hitting control enter again, we don't see any value by default below the button. That is because the div is empty. Now, obviously I could go into HTML and simply, oops, add not clicked here. And we would have not clicked, which changes to clicked when we do click. Now we have a default value, but it's hard coded into HTML and this might not be the behavior you're looking for in your app. An alternative would be to go to the end of our code here and simply use click emitted and in emit a new value where we say not clicked. Now, since the subscription is already set up and if we hit control enter, we see not clicked because we already have a subscription, which will replace the div text content whenever we emit a new value, which we do here. Again, this is some extra code we have to write because we have to manually emit a value to set the default at the beginning. And technically, it won't have that value right from the start, only once we reach that line. So that might still not be optimal. The great thing is RxJS has a special type of subject we can use, the behavior subject. So if I turn my subject into one, a new behavior subject, I now can pass an argument to that subject constructor that was not possible in the normal subject. Here, I can assign a default value for the subject, like not clicked. And if I now hit control enter, you see not clicked appearing again, even though we're not emitting it and we did not set it in the HTML code, but instead this argument will populate our subject with a starting value, which is automatically emitted, you could say, so that our subscription automatically triggers right at startup. Of course, if I then click, all the other code still works as expected, but behavior subject takes care about that initialization. So when would you use it? You typically use it whenever you do use your subject like a normal variable, which should hold a value, but which you want to change eventually, and which should then inform other parts of your application about this change. That is a perfect use case for behavior subject. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the other videos, hopefully. Bye.